I'll throw a party. I'll say, hey, uh, I'm new in town, or hey, I've been here for a while and I want to meet new people. Oliver wants to know, what are the best ways to meet Western expats in Asia and Latin countries? Well, I think there's a lot of different ways to meet expats. I mean, number one, the question would be, do you need to meet Western expats? I think, I mean, one of the interesting things about living around the world is you can meet people from all around the world. Now, you may want to meet people from the country where you're going to. Um, so, you know, if we're here in Mexico, make some friends who are Mexican. Um, now, there are some countries where you go to where there's a big cultural gap. If you're following my advice, go where you're treated best. You wouldn't go somewhere where you feel badly. It's not like you're going and taking a job in Saudi Arabia or something where you may not feel like you fit in and you're kind of isolated. You know, in my advice, you'd find a place where you felt comfortable. Um, and so, you know, you can meet locals, you can meet expats who aren't Western, uh, and you can meet people uh, from your own country. And so I would figure out, you know, what's the right balance there. I do understand, uh, having you know, spent 12 years doing this nomad capitalist stuff, that cultures are different, and sometimes you want a mix of different cultures. You don't just want to live with, with one uh, you know, cultural group of friends. Uh, one of the things that I've done that I think is, has really uh, been helpful is I'll go on to like a Facebook group um, or some kind of uh, expat group, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw a party. I'll say, hey, uh, I'm new in town, or hey, I've been here for a while, and I want to meet new people. And hey, you know, I've arranged such and such a location. I've got a bar, I've got a you know, hotel, a ballroom, you know, whatever. And hey, come and have drinks. And what I've said, um, which you can sometimes get into trouble with, is I've said, hey, you know what? I'm buying the first drink, or I'm buying the first two rounds, or whatever the case may be. And you know, I've set up a process where people can go into RSVP. I'll usually have them kind of fill in some details, like their name, their nationality. Maybe I'll have them say you know, why they want to come. And you know, there's been times when either through a Facebook group or even by running a Facebook ad, um, by going and actually paying you know, $50 or $100, you can target people who aren't from your current location but who are living in your current location. Um, you know, I did this several times in Kuala Lumpur. I've done it in Belgrade. Um, I've done it in a number of places. You know, one time in Kuala Lumpur, we had over 50 people show up um, who RSVP'd and came. And we just had it at the Havana Bar and Grill. And I went and, and talked to the guy, uh, the manager of the Havana, Havana Bar and Grill. I'd been there before. They said, hey, we'll kind of you know, silo off an area for you guys. And you know, as people come in, you know, we'll, we'll serve them from kind of the pre-selected menu of drinks. You know, what do you want to drink? And um, you know, from my perspective, I just figured, hey, you know, if I'm meeting friends, you know, you're buying a couple rounds, you know, even if it's $1,000, right? I mean, you, you meet a bunch of new people. I actually made, out of those 50 people, I made two or three good friends that several years later I still uh, interact with on some level. So, uh, you know, I guess what I would say is, uh, you know, making friends as an expat uh, is no different than making friends in any other environment. I mean, you know, what do our parents tell us when we're kids? If you want to have a friend, be a friend. And so I think if you're looking to make friends, taking that bigger step than most other people would take and stepping up and having some kind of party. Maybe you have a home, people could come to your home. I think that might be more difficult um, for people who don't know you to come over to your home. But you know that could be a possibility. The point is, I mean, for, for probably hundreds of dollars, you could put together some kind of event like this. You could put ways in to screen different people. You know, what I did with that party was I said, I don't want too many people from each nationality. Um, and so we ended up having like 35 different nationalities out of 50 people. Um, and you could do more screening if you wanted to. But um, that's one thing that's really been effective for me. And so if you're willing to step up and do what, what most people aren't willing to do, you'll probably get results that most people aren't willing to get. And, and in this case, it was a lot of people under one roof at one time. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. 
And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur, and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.